Hi everyone, it's Mel. I have another project to share with you. This time I've altered a wooden letter. The actual letter's made of MDF and it's an M for my friend May Britt. She's coming to stay on Thursday with her husband until next Tuesday, so I'm super excited, but wanted to make a little gift for her. So this is what I decided to make. So as I said, the M is made of MDF and I gave it a couple of coats of gesso. And then the next thing I did was I added some lace and it's quite difficult to see because of all the elements that I've stuck on there but there's a piece of lace going up there and then there's a piece going up there um, and then um, the next thing I did um, I added some of this beautiful daisy trim so there's a piece there then on top of each of the um, top of the M there and then I use my stencil, and it's this stencil here, and as you can see, I don't look after my stencils very well. Um, this is a Crafters Workshop one. Um, what's it called? I don't know what it's called. Harlequin? I don't know. But any case, I use that. And I don't actually use modelling paste, I actually use ready mixed filler. And in my opinion, it works just as well and is a lot cheaper. I mean, this pot is 600 grams and it really wasn't very much at all. So that's what I use and I find it very successful. Um, so I use my stencil here and down here. And then um, I then stuck various elements on there. So we've got a um, lace butterfly. We've got a prima wooden flower. We've got a plastic cherub. We've got some paper flowers, which I've stuck on top of each other. These were actually coloured, and um, so I changed that. Here we've got some metal um, roses. Here's another wooden Prima piece. A charm, heart, wing charm. This is actually a magnet. Another flower, another metal flower. We've got a crown charm and a key. Another flower down here. Um, and then once I'd stuck everything down, I gave everything several coats of gesso just to prime everything and then I started spraying and these are the colours that I used um, so basically I started at the top with blue then I went into green then I went into peach then into a lighter pink and then into a cerise pink so the blue that I used is this one here and I absolutely love this, it's such a gorgeous colour and I actually got this for 99p from my local craft store and I only bought one and I'm kicking myself now because um, I wasn't sure how they were going to be I couldn't understand why they were reduced from 425 down to 99p I thought there must have been something wrong with them but there wasn't and now I'm kicking myself so that was the blue that I used and then the green all the rest of the colours I use are from Lindy Stamp Gang and this is a starburst one and this one is called Ponderosa Pines Olive so I used that one then we went on to the peachy orange um, I think I probably use this one Cape Cod Coral and then just add a bit more of intense colour I use this one Red Hot Poker Orange then we went on to the pink so I would have used saltwater taffy and then for the very dark I would have used autumn maple crimson I think that says and then um, to finish it all off oh I've probably used this one as well clam baked beige and then I think I used the gold as well just to give it a bit of spritz and I'll just turn it around and show you the back it's very plain it's just the colour so there it is, my decorated altered M for my friend May Britt. I hope she likes it. Thank you for watching and please leave me a comment.